What's up guys, it's Jesse. So it's time to uh, get to the seat here for the Jixer Quad. Putting on it. It's uh, black, but I don't know if you can see it very well. It's kind of diamond. It's, I don't even know that it's stitched, but either way, it's got some kind of an imprint on it that like resembles a diamond, I guess. What is up guys, it is Jesse here at Fantasy Customs for Life, coming back at you again today for part 4 of the GSXR quad build. If you're not already familiar, go ahead and check out the previous videos. Alright, so we're going to jump right in today. I'm going to try and do a little bit different style where it's just mostly action and not really talking because the previous videos, I watched them and geez, are they hard to get through. Too much talking, so let's get right at it. We're going to start off recovering this seat. And then uh, after that, we're going to finish up the other side of the exhaust. We got the new exhaust tips in, so we're going to finish up the exhaust. And then we got a couple other pieces that are going on after that. All right, let's check it out. can see that's how we do it now we do have to get some staples down in here um, and I guess I'm gonna have to ooh that's riveted in I don't know how I'm gonna get staples down into here but something's got to go in there to uh, attack that otherwise it looks like everything else is good and I know you can see it isn't perfect, but that was mostly due to the cutting, and uh, it's going to get better. Just wait and watch. I do apologize that uh, I did miss um, at the end there some of this um, exhaust piping going on. It's pretty much done. I need a couple of mounts um, finished on that. Anyways, those are pretty sweet. They still need to be painted and like I said, that little mount uh, bracket done, which uh, hopefully I can get that done today, but we'll see. Anyways, we're down to pretty much the end of this and it's crunch time. I really, really got to get this thing finished. Uh, so first and foremost, we got to get the key back on it and remounted. It's not going to work there in the old position because with the risers on and everything, it's just, it's not going to work. 
Now what I love doing is um, drilling a hole and mounting them so it looks like um, stock location. Next we got a smoked uh, brake light slash integrated turn signal. Need to get this speedometer mounted. We got a new casing for it, so it's all nice now. All right, so I've gotten a little bit further. This stuff looks a little bit crude. This is hidden pretty well by the uh, speedometer, which uh, I don't have out here at this second. But anyways, this clips in there. But yeah, so there are some things that, you know, got done, like the plastics got mounted. Luckily, I didn't have to cut them. That was really awesome. Um, like I already showed you, the exhaust, I think he saw the, the shot, rear shock reservoir getting remounted. Also on the other side, you saw the battery probably getting remounted. So that's all done and cool. And uh, the risers are on. Um, so that eliminated uh, the problems with steering because as you can see, you do long, no longer hit. Also got the uh, Nerf bars mounted up. Um, that's all pretty decent. We still had the fuel pump to mount that they never did anything. They just zip tied it there. So that needs to be mounted. And then coming down to some of the last things is uh, the ECU's laying here and they've made a little um, thing for it to lay on. So that's great and all, but it's not covered. We may cover that up. The other part of that is that there's just a whole lot of electronics that would be nice to have it halfway covered up in a little box. So we come up to the next thing, which is the seat being mounted here. And it might just be all part of the ECU box, electronic box thing, is that we'll build something there to take up that ugly space, hold all the junk, and hold up the seat all in one. We're painting it, painting the frame gloss black. I'm also painting the exhaust. I don't think we'll be able to do gloss on that, obviously. It'll have to be um, a flat black on the exhaust, but we need some exhaust done. And then the very last thing <laughs> is uh, putting the grips on, which is no big deal to put the grips on, but it comes down to the ends. And we actually had got some um, crack, uh, sport bike style bar ends for these. However, I didn't realize that even though these are 7 eighths bars, they have this weird taper on the end and their own little bar end, which is a piece of plastic that, yeah, you can pop out, but that taper is just um, weird enough that then you can't stick the bar end in there. Also beyond that, there's nothing to thread into inside of here. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you really enjoyed watching this. The next video, we're gonna come back, finish up these last couple little things and get the paint job done. And then we will be ready for the final videos, which will be the test of the machine. I know this thing's gonna rip. I'm super, super excited. If you are too, let me hear it. And, uh, We'll catch you next time. Later.